What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hey There and Everywhere channel. So this week, I've got a car reveal for you guys. I've gone out and I bought myself a new car and here it is. And yes, you may ask, why are you on the side of the motorway, Adam? Well, it's fucking broken down on me already. Didn't take long, did it? Used to breaking down me, love. Really? Ah, uh, no. too much. And which way are you travelling today? Are you travelling towards Leeds or towards Manchester? Manchester. Okay, you going home? Yeah, I was trying. <laughs> it's currently half ten at night and we're rationing in a pack of squashes. So this is all we've got for Scram because neither of us have ate. The AA man best hurry up. Thanks, AA. We're in Mackie's drive through right? Uh, Bruce has just told me, give, give her the money, like, tell her to keep the change. I was like, absolutely, do not be telling her to keep the change. Me fucking car's just broke down and he thinks I'm giving him the change. <laughs> Silly man. We're back with her. Let's see what's up with the old girl. I don't actually know what's up with it. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to be able to work that out. So I'm waiting for my friend who's going to come around later to let me know what actually is up with it. But in the meantime, I'm going to get it clean because look at this, it's an absolute state. The front don't look too bad. It just needs a good clean. But the back, mate, is a state. It needs a good, good, good clean. Hey, he's left us with a good, eh? He's left us with a rig. Might have to take that fishing with us one time, eh? So we put a nice new wing mirror on instead of that one, which was uh, following bits and was hanging on by tape. So this one should be miles better now. I've snapped an half shaft and done a bearing. Someone explain to the viewers how fucked this is. Fuck. Like, fuck. <laughs> so what's Black. happened? Someone explain what's gone wrong. It's basically, your bones collapsed and if that caliper weren't there when you're driving down the road, your wheel would have fell off. Mm -mm. Madness. We're currently day three now. So I'm back at it and basically I got my mechanics around last night and this should have been a very simple job. This should have been weld a rod through there and then pull the half shaft out and that would have been job done. But basically we've got a lip inside there on the axle casing so I can't get this half shaft out. So what I've been trying to do is file away at the lip but it's just not really moving. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. I've been told to get another axle, but I really can't be asked getting another axle because that means taking this axle, axle off and putting another one on. <sighs> well, it's day four and today is the axle day. We've got to take the fucking axle off and hopefully this is the last day we've got fucking about with this Land Rover and it's back on the road. So I'm still half asleep, but I need to open up shop, get the tools out and start taking this fucking axle off. So we're trying to get the anti-roll bar out and it's being a bitch. So we've tried the big ugga dugger and when the big ugga dugger doesn't work, you get the big ugga dugger's brother. So hopefully this is gonna do the job. Massive shout out to the boys that came and helped. So there's no way we'd have been able to change the axle that night without you. So all I had left to do was service the diff and service the engine. The day has finally come. I picked this thing up now on Monday and it is Sunday currently today. And I'm finally getting to take it off-road in. I took it on a little, little tester path last night and she beasted it. So I'm going to take it up to Rivington today. I'm actually going to go and fill up and get some fuel for myself and get some fuel for this old girl and then we're going off roading up with it so I shall pick you back up when we get up there
The amount of people that look when you go up here is fucking incredible, but he's a monster, honestly. Let me take you for a look outside and show you what we've just been up. Monstered. Absolute beast, this thing. That's where we've just been up there. I'll take you over to this one now. Absolute little monster, that thing. I love it. I know this isn't much for most off-roaders and stuff like that, but this is this is sick for me. My first time. I'm loving it. And she's not exactly um, she's not exactly a modified puppy. She's fairly standard, to be honest with you. She's only got a two-inch lift kit on her, so not too big. But it went up and round there. I'm gonna go up that one in a second. First time out in her and we get fucking told off straight away. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are you not allowed on there? What's the, what's the problem going on there? I don't understand it. It's literally purpose built to be fucking off-roading. Pansy, mate, pansy. But right, we're gonna go and send it down another track instead. Honestly, I love this thing, but there is something we need to address. What are we calling the Lanny? What are we calling the Land Rover? So leave name ideas down below in the comments. Let me know what you think we should call her. And the top comment next week will be the name of the Lanny. Well, it didn't take long to break it again, did it? But I'll flip the camera around and show you what I've done. Well, as you can see, that spring is unseated. And that spring is definitely unseated. So that's it for this week's video. As I've broke it, I need to take it back home. But don't worry, I'll have it fixed, ready for next week's video where I'm going to a pay and play. Look forward to that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. And if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like. I'll catch you next week, guys. I've created a right queue behind me now because I'm having uh, I've cars to stop. Well, she's made it home, so that's all that matters. Good girl.